Morning. This is Ben Wolpit. I'm uh, your parade co-announcer. With me is Cindy St. Ors, who is a very knowledgeable observer of the Pepperfest festivities over the years, as she is a North Hudson resident. This is the 2000th parade, year 2000, and we're looking forward to an excellent parade. The uh, weather is just perfect. It sure is. A little is. bright looking into the sun, but I think we'll manage, Cindy. What do you I think? I think we will. It's a beautiful day, a lot of people. Excited to be here. Thank you. And we have our first unit that is approaching down the street, and that will be the um, North Hudson Police, which is leading the parade. We do have a lot of police cars and, and policemen here working the parade and covering all of the uh, routes, both uh, egress for the units as well as people that are still trying to get in and find a spot for the parade. We have people lined uh, up all along the curb, several deep and a lot of kids sitting along the curb, which I'm sure are looking for some candy. Yeah, I'm sure they are, Ben. The chairs have been out here since 8 o'clock this morning. I had to drive through town and people already had their seats ready to go and blankets out to get their spots for the parade. We should recognize also the uh, Old Log Cabin, which we thank for our chairs. We have some place to sit. We do. And we're going to be standing up here in a minute for the uh, flag procession as it first unit approaches the stand. And following the uh, North Hudson Police car would be the VFW Post 2115 and the American Legion Post 50, which is the color guard. And they're followed also by the Tanner's Lake VFW Post got the St. Croix County 40th and 8th truck coming by, Ben. This is an interesting unit, Cindy. I'm not quite sure what the 4018 signifies. Uh, Bill Gilbert always knew this, but it, uh, there is a very strong historical note. I think it may go back to the Civil War, but I could be incorrect. I don't know. That little uh, French along the side of the cab, and uh, unfortunately I can't read French. Sorry, Ben, I can't help you out on that either. It's a society of something. Behind that, we will have the um, unit from the St. Croix County Emergency Medical Services, which is a, a good unit to have in the parade in case anything goes wrong. Sure is. They are a very dedicated group of people and uh, a real asset to the community. We're lucky to have them. Looks like we've got three units, I think. Three beautiful ambulances. You should note that the um, parade is halted for a moment at the viewing stand where the judges are for the playing of the national anthem. On the Veterans of Foreign Wars car, we have Otis H. King, post 50th, and it says the post commander is Gordon Knudsen.
said, we're back underway now after the completion of the National Anthem. And I mentioned the Emergency Medical Services. They have a number of units here in the parade. It looks like uh, by all of these various vehicles that uh, they are very well staffed, very well equipped. Do you recognize any of these people driving? No, but I was thinking how fortunate we are to have the St. Croix EMS service being most of it, from what I understand, is volunteer service. I'm sure it, I think it's kind of futile for us to try to speak while the uh, sirens are sounding. <laughs> I'm sure they deafen everything we're trying to say. On the other hand, I'm sure that that's a great deal of fun for the drivers. Right, sure is. The uh, unit that came in the camera here is not a part of the parade, but it's a very important <laughs> unit. It's delivering more beer to the beer wagon. So I'm expecting that one's going to turn to the left here and leave the parade route. I think that's free advertisement for him, don't you, Ben? <laughs> he didn't even stop and offer us a sample. <laughs> here we go with the Hudson Fire Department, and they also have several units. Hi. This is an extremely uh, well-staffed and highly trained unit. It's nice to see the old, one of the original trucks. So we have here equipment to handle anything. We have a small pumper truck, which I think they typically use to grass fires. Then we have the larger units, which would be for a major fire. And they also have the aerial unit with the uh, long ladder, which can extend to um, suppress fires from the roof. Boy, that's sure a necessity. So look oh. down the parade route, there appear to be probably seven or eight different vehicles. Oh my. I didn't realize we had this many units. Oh, here comes St. Joe's as well. Ah, uh -huh. uh, well that explains St. Joe's is following right hard on the heels of the Hudson Fire Department. And that's apropos because they often help each other out if they have large fires. Yes, they do. And if I recall, St. Joe's recently purchased a new truck also because that is a very modern looking unit. These last two units are also from the St. Joe's Fire Department. One is a tank truck and the again is another small pickup unit for small brush fires. The young children sure enjoy these parades because they get the opportunity to ride in the trucks. I'm sure that it's very exciting to hear the uh, sirens and the whistles too. Mm -hmm. All kids love noise and they certainly uh, generate a lot of them. Yes. Right. I meant the trucks, not the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Although from time to time, they also have been known to generate a lot of noise. Right, right. We speak as parents, of course. Yes, Our we do. Our children, not everybody yes, else. Yes, we do. Oh, we have a young firefighter oh, here with the uh, helmet and the goggles, waving to the crowd. What do you think? Maybe he'll want to be a fireman when he gets older? Uh, I'm not sure it's a he. I think it may be a she. Oh. And, in today's world of equality, I'm certain <laughs> there are very many, a lot of firefighters and very competent female firefighters. That's right. Good point. There's a, quite a break here in the, uh, the parade right now behind the fire units before our first uh, non-municipal unit appears. How are you enjoying your uh, first parade announcing gig so far? Well, it's interest to be interesting to be on this side instead of watching the parade. Remember, I've 
grew up here in North Hudson and um, been actively involved at some point in my life as well as being involved and in being in a parade when we were younger in the kiddie parades. Well, and as you were an adult, I know that you were associated um, very deeply with the uh, the Queen That's Luncheon, silly. the brunch that they have every morning, right. and the morning of the parade, in which they have several hundred. Involved yeah. with the princess candidates. It's a lot of fun. It's very nice for the uh, candidates and for the uh, the visiting royalty to be able to have a brunch before it they is. go out in the parade room. And, and very much appreciated. It's always amazing to me to see how many buttons they have collected from the parades over the years. They have sashes which are just hung with dozens of buttons. Buttons, that's right. The weight there must get to be kind of burdensome after a while. That's right. I don't know who... Here comes a children's favorite, someone distributing right. candy. They sure are. Aha, uh -huh. oh, I recognize one person. Yes. That would be Lynn Meissen, the uh, village president, carrying a basket and throwing candy to his constituents. I see you. Well, isn't that nice? Mrs. Meissen on the other side assisting him. Kind of an interesting um, aspect of the parade this year. Typically, you find the president and the mayor riding on a convertible. This time, they are both carrying baskets of candy, right. walking down the street, right. and distributing candy. So, on the um, approaching right now is Mayor Jack Bro from the uh, city of Hudson. Following, we have the Grand Marshal coming up. Bob Hoagland, a North Hudson resident. And good morning, Mayor. Good morning. Good. good. Thank, you. Thank you. That'll help when our throats get dry also. Should note that Mr. Hoagland has been an elementary teacher in North Hudson Elementary School for 33 years, just recently retired, and uh, the article on him noted that he was an avid reader at read that he had 6,000 books in his home library. So yes, I did read that. Pretty well read individual. And we have our good neighbor, Jean Schneider, as you and I know her well. Yes, as we do her husband, who is riding yes. in the vehicle and waving to us at this moment. They're uh, both good friends, long-standing. Uh, they've been in the community since 1979. And uh, Jean has particularly distinguished herself for her community service and her volunteerism. She's uh, been a strong hockey supporter, had um, three sons that went through the program. She's served on the hockey board of directors. She's uh, been the organizer for the Bingo Pepperfest uh, concession for a number of years. She also uh, works with the Operation Health as a board member there. Works with the Little River Owls and also uh, participates with St. Pat Church Reformation program. So she's been a very active lady in the community. Yes, she is. Very well deserved. It, she sure is. Well, here's Royalty. Send and you yes, a little video with the Royalty here. Got the North Hudson Pepper Festival Royalty. We have King Ed Nelson, Queen Jamie Page, Princess Carly Andrews, Princess. Jeannie O'Mara and Princess Lindy Gullickson. We would note that this has been a very successful unit this year. They have won a number of awards. I think at one point they had won five straight. And you know, I failed to mention the Queen, Jamie Gifford, and the King, Scott Sippel. Oh, you can't overlook the King and the Queen. No, they're beautiful. Nice, now, colorful been flow. ambassadors for the North Hudson community. Oh, we've got some of the Pepper Fest 2000 Royal Family. There are the workers. Go every weekend with their daughters, and I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it requires a great deal of dedication to be a royalty parent. Yes, it does. A lot of time given. 
I think a lot of hard work. Typically, they attend maybe 25 to 30 parades a year. I think you're right. They have to make sure those girls get to where they have to be and proper time and dressed appropriately. It's a lot of work. It's really a family affair so that you see not just the parents but the brothers and sisters that get involved with it. The uh, traveler have to get there early and set up the, uh, the float, make sure that uh, they have water and yeah, saw everyone that. is taken care of. That the, Power and anything stuff. that's uh, moving on the float actually is working because uh, many of the um, awards are based upon the, how innovative the float is and uh, how animated it is. And they have changed the uh, float over the year from parade to parade, so they try to stick with the theme that uh, is present for that particular festival. Yes. We have a couple entrepreneurs here selling pot for 50 cents, and it uh, looks like they're raising money to uh, go to a mission in Mexico. Yes, they are. I'm sure they'll sell a lot of it today. It's warm. But they're working the right side of the street, the side <laughs> of the sun. And they're looking into the sun. That's right. Well, we have here in the next float, the 1999, or last year's Royal Tail, it looks like. So we have the uh, 1999 Queen, Jamie Jo Page, Princesses Jennifer O'Meara, Belinda Gullickson, and Carly Andrews. Looks like they're still yeah. really into the parade then. As a matter of fact, that's what we said before, and I think I said they were the 2000 on our first. The floats had switched order here. I think you're right. So we have to apologize to our Pepper Festival 2000 royalty. We didn't get their princess, proper princesses' names in there. Well, we know who they are, of course, though. Yes, we do. We'll have to recognize them. The Emmanuel Lutheran Church has a nice little float here. I see they're opening a preschool, it said, this fall. Here we have more candy being distributed. That's an interesting um, float. It sure powered is. By, powered by a human power. Emmanuel Luther Church, And we have next approaching us with the van, the St. Croix County Sheriff, Dennis Hillstead. I was a little thrown here for a minute, Cindy. I was uh, waiting for the Brian Baru pipe band, which um, is listed on the uh, program as preceding Dennis Hillstad. Right. But if they're around, you hear them. They're always a crowd favorite. I'm wondering where they're going to show up in the parade. We have approaching us now the um, Hudson, the City of Hudson float, which is called the Hudson Bell II. And the royalty on this float is Miss Hudson, Emily Roan fans, Princess Katie O'Connell, Princess Tanya Trost, and Princess Christine Whitemars. They always have, that Hudson Bell float has always been a nice attraction, nice float. It's, of course, miniatured after the paddle wheel boat representing the town of Hudson. And Miss Hudson is sponsored jointly by the Hudson Area Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau, the Hudson Booster Club, and the Hudson Area JCs. And one of the features of that float is that it has a lot of animation on it. So it has a paddle wheel which turns, it has lights that come on, 
bells that, um, that ring, whistles that blow, and smoke that comes from the smokestack. Look at that smoke. Next we have a unit from the St. Croix County Sheriff. This is also part of the Dennis Hillstead uh, Department. And they have on it uh, the snowmobiles that they use for policing snowmobile trails. And also advertising the Counteract Program, which is a program designed to combat drugs, alcohol, and violence. Yes, it is. <laughs> Next is the New Richmond Fun Fest float. And based on that cheer behind us, by the two people <laughs> pass by, they must be from New Richmond. Or I think so. No, the ladies on this float. What do we have here? We have Miss New Richmond, who is Eric uh, Frederick. First Princess Nicole Sobel, Second Princess Nicole Dalton, Third Princess Sarah Hagerness, and Miss Congeniality Colleen Killian. Totally out of order. Mm -hmm. Very. And now passing before us is the uh, village of Balsam Lake and their float, which has Princess Carrie Polson and Carrie Wild. Miss Congeniality is Carrie Wild. They have Little Miss Princess, which is Katherine Essenberger, Kim Radke, and Keely Hubner. Next float is the Queen of the Lakes and Snows. You notice this wonderful wave that all the candidates do. This unit has it down pat. They're working both sides of the street. Look left, a, look right, wave left, wave right. I think that's a waving class 101. <laughs> what do you think? I guess so. This is Miss Turtle Lake. We have Queen Carmen Alsvig, Princess Kim Selly, Princess Jody Olmsted, Little Miss Turtle Lake, Alexis Gross, Princess Cassie Nikonen and Brianna Morton. And immediately behind them is the a band from Indian Head Glass. And following them would be the Hudson Alumni Band, which is a great favorite. It's getting a little bigger this yeah. year. Well, I saw they were advertising the Hudson Star Observer uh, for people to play in the band. It looks like they were pretty successful. Seems to me that in the uh, 4th of July parade in Hudson, they only had about four or five. They do a good job, don't <laughs> they, Ben? <laughs> oh, they are. Very entertaining. It looks like yes, they're having they a are. great time. That's what it's all about. Not only do we get music, but we get songs. We get vocals. Doing the Hey Baby. <laughs> Hawaiian oh, shirts. Hawaiian shirts. The theme. Not sure how that goes with Pepperfest in Italian. I don't know. Any well, Italians in uh, Hawaii? There must be. Well, Italians everywhere. We have a tendency. We resemble one another. <laughs> Boy, is he tall. I thought you, you were tall, Ben. <laughs> you have to look up to get that guy. Well, I see we have one of our queen candidates, Brianne St. Ors. She is sponsored by the First National Bank of Hudson. I believe we have four or five candidates here that are in a row, units, all in convertibles. Yes, beautiful. And I should note that you have several relatives in the, as candidates this yes, year. Yes, I do. Too. I and have I three. Brianne was one of them. Yes, I and have what three. what relationship is she to you? Brianne is a cousin. A cousin. On my okay. husband's side. And how about Kelly Ritchie, who Kelly is our next Ritchie. Uh, candidate and is sponsored by Stars Bar of North yes. Hudson. Yes, Kelly is a cousin as well related my mother was a Richie so you know us North Hudson people we're all related practically I know. the Someone old told me ones. That there were only <laughs> four or five actual Italian families in North Hudson but they were all related in one way or another yes there were there were six Richie brothers here years ago so they all and your maiden name was Shulo I believe right Shulo my mother was a Richie and there were it's the Cardarellis and the Zappas yeah. and the Zezas the Bruzies the Bruzy. Correct. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a Pepperfest king. And years ago, they called him Ben Godfathers. Oh, yes. Not Pepperfest <laughs> king until like about 1976. 
after the movie The Godfather no. came out. I think Marlon Brando and killed she, the Godfather yes. image, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Who do we have here? We have Queen Candidate Jessica Gremmins, and she's sponsored by FNM Bank. And she will be followed by our next candidate, who is Melissa Cody, and Melissa is sponsored by Dave Holt Ford. And that's a, a lovely Mustang that she's riding in. Right red. This worked out pretty well. We're getting a little cloud cover here so the sun isn't quite so bright and yet it's still very pleasant out. Yes it is. I note that there are some uh, units here that apparently are out of order because I haven't seen the uh, pipe band show up. No. And I haven't seen Senator Cole, who's on our list. No. Senator Herb Cole, um, of course, is, I believe, the senior senator from uh, Wisconsin, and Russell Feingold would be the junior senator. Mm -hmm. And I believe that Senator Cole is up for election this year. He also, interestingly, is the uh, owner of the Milwaukee Bucks pro basketball team. Oh, that's right. Next, we have Pepperfest Queen candidate Carolyn Marlowe, sponsored by Valley Driving School. Nice little Mazda convertible. Yes. For the car bus, uh, the parades are always a great opportunity to look right. at some vehicles, uh, nice new ones, and often there are some um, ones that uh, have great lineage. That's and are right. Interesting, the uh, buff antique car collectors. What do we have here? The Hopkins Raspberry Festival royalty. It's always such a Italian festival-looking float. We have the Raspberry Queen, Melissa Specken, Raspberry Princess, Bel Melanie Kelso, Elizabeth Odre, and we have some junior kings and queens as well. This is always one of the most colorful boats. The colors are beautiful. Yes. And as you can see, it has animation, it has music, it has everything that the judges like to see in a boat. And they are cruising closer to the judges' stand as they pass by. Yeah, they sure are. There are some uh, very veteran parade people. Yes. We have next uh, a unit that is the uh, St. Croix County 4-H Ambassadors. And on the unit are Maureen Casey, Renata Sin, and Holly Stevens. Yes. And their motto is to make the best better. Next we have Kitty Rhodes. State Assembly. She has her family out here walking along with her. And I believe uh, Kitty was previously with the Chamber of Commerce, was she not? Yes, she was. She, she certainly was. For an election year, I don't note that there are an awful lot of politicians in the, uh, the, the parade, uh, just somewhat unusual. Well, and Kitty's at home here, remember, being, her maiden name was Richie as well. Oh, really? <laughs> so, she's a relative of mine who's familiar with all of this for many, many years. Well, I know now that we have a uh, unit approaching us, which is a uh, wheel, two wheel, and some two passenger vehicles. This is the Art Doyle Spokes and Pedals Unit. And Art Doyle has sponsored um, a trick team, which is put on demonstration at the Pepperfest for a number of years and always very well received. A lot of kids really like to see the tricks that these guys can do on the bikes. Boy, look at those suits, those bike uniforms. Very wow. colorful outfits wow. and all being very safety conscious, they're all wearing helmets. They sure are. Gloves. There's quite an age difference in this unit too. <laughs> so, uh, and Art Doyle's Adults right there with us. very them. young kids, yeah. Well, Art always leads the parade. Yes, he does. Art's very active in the community also, and a great addition to the uh, to the festival of the whole community. Whoa, someone took a little spill there. 
carrying a water pistol. I don't know if he was hosing down the crowd and lost his concentration or what. Now there's a super soaker gun here in the I van. I was going to say, he doesn't turn that that's on us. right. I don't we got a little wet last year's parade. It was sprinkling occasionally. I don't want to look forward to that again. Pass on the water guns. There you go. Oh, look at First National Bank. Got a nice float there. Yeah, with the tiger image. The tiger, all right. I don't see the uh, present Ken Heiser yet. Uh, no? I believe that's him in that suit. Oh, it may be. You the, may uh, be right. The eagle, the American eagle. I believe that's what he is. In, in. <laughs> Ken typically will do that. Thank you. A little bubble gum. Yes. Could be. Suppose Ken's working the crowd selling right. certificates of deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's certainly working the young people on the crew, which is our uh, potential former yeah. our future yeah, customers. That's right. What do we have here? Border Town Realty. They're carrying the past Pepperfest royalty. Okay. Oh my, and one of the godfathers from I think 1976 is Tony Zappa. <laughs> And Tony looks like a godfather. Hi, Tony. He's not wearing his pepper oh, earring, though. I said 76. I see 1977 is when Tony was. Uh, and uh, I see uh, at least uh, one more king on there, former king. Can I tell you a story, Ben, that I oh, heard absolutely. that Tony shared with me? When he was pepper or godfather at that time, he had some friends in Hudson, and they had moved. And after he had been elected, he said he got a postcard from these people that had moved out of Hudson. And all it was addressed was Godfather, North Hudson, Wisconsin. And he received it in his mail. I'm sure he probably did. Coming to the Hudson Post Office, everybody would have known Tony because... He said to me, I have it to prove. He said, I kept it. Can you believe that it got to me? I think Tony represents the real spirit of Pepperfest. He's been involved with it. The whole family's been involved with it for decades. And trying to speak over the Zor Shrine Unit, which is always a proud favorite. Whoa. And here are some guys that really enjoy themselves also. I think this is the unit that is the enemy of all the kids along the curb that all like to be on those machines. Can you see yourself doing this when you're older, Ben? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of reckless. I may not be able to do that. These guys look like they practice a lot and they know exactly what they're doing. Everyone just enjoys seeing those. And we should note that the Shriners are an organization which brings great benefit to the community. They uh, do a lot of work in, in supporting the hospitals. The yes, Shrine hospitals are famous nationally, leaders in uh, research, medical research. And all of these guys put their time in to uh, promote that type of program. And they've been here for every parade as long I as so. I can remember. They're always participating. I'm sure we've noted before that the uh, slogan that they have on the side of their support van mm -hmm. is that we ride so that others may walk. Right. I think for quite a number of years they, they focused on polio. Yeah, I think was, you're uh, right. I think that's initially where it, what they were, their purpose was. Helping kids. Here we have a unit from uh, Freedom, Freedom Value Centers, gas stations, and um, Mini Stores, which is a uh, corporation that started here in Hudson. Oh, oh this is the Treasure Island float. Oh, this one yeah. always gets everyone a little rocking. Well, I don't know if this is a uh, Brazilian or Mexican theme, but it's a, uh, a, a float with a lot of movement. That's right. A lot of color. Beautiful. They look like they're really having a good time up there. And the 
giving away souvenirs to the crowd, which I'm sure that everyone appreciates greatly. It's wonderful. Thank you. Beer cooler, wonderful. Boy, look at how. That's yeah, bongo cool. drums and marimbas. The water fountain. Well, if anyone has been to uh, Treasure Island Casino, I'm sure many have. There is a waterfall as you are coming to the main entrance, so there used to be. I believe they're probably redesigning that. Boy, that's quite a float. That is a huge float. It looks like it folds up into three pieces. <laughs> Can't Must imagine. A, quite a task taking that apart, putting it together putting for it every together. parade. And it occupies almost the full width of the street. It really does. What do we have here? The North Hudson Elementary School is being represented. And some of the families as well. Oh, I see some of the teachers. I recognize them. Well, this is probably the last holiday before school starts next week. Right. They start on Thursday, and that's the principal, Anissa Cravens, principal of North Hudson Elementary. You look like that's you have a lot of friends on that floor. Yeah, I know quite a few of them. Oh. Well, the uh, slogan they're handing out is, North Hudson teachers are out of this world. That's right. Class and, of 2001. And I think that uh, everyone, every parent who has sent kids to North Hudson Elementary School has been very impressed by yes. the professionalism of the staff. Yes. They do a wonderful job educating our, our youth. You know, Ben, I remember when the school was down on 5th Street North here in North Hudson, and that's where the parade used to go. Really? And of course, the Pepper Fest was started to, you know, be a fundraiser to get that North Hudson School built. I don't want to put you in danger here of age. <laughs> How long ago was that? It was a while ago, trust me. <laughs> it's when I was in the Kitty Parade. We have passing right now another um, political unit. This is for Senator Alice Clausing. Interesting that I saw these people walking around earlier. One of them was wearing a sweatshirt saying, I am Alice, and that's Alice <laughs> on the bike, and the other one was, I'm with Alice. That's good. And Alice is accompanied by Abby, her uh, dog, which is carrying in a little wicker basket on the front of the bike. Abby seems to go around with yes. Senator Clausen often. I believe she was in last year's parade yes, also. Yes, she was. There's a dog, obviously, that's very comfortable with parades. Yep. I'm not quite so sure if you put him behind those... Uh, <laughs> Fire trucks. It should <laughs> be she, quite as calm as she'd she She'd stay in the basket. Yes. And the closing unit has uh, strung out here for quite a distance, yep. passing out um, literature and uh, looks like candy. Candy. I see the kids holding out sacks and uh, people dropping things in them. So yes. She's making some friends with the, uh, the younger set. Oh, sure, they love the dog. That's bringing the young kids to her. So the school is down on 5th, you say? 5th Street North, yes it was. And that's where the parade used to um, go. Is the building still there? I'm no, no, as a matter of fact, I, I want to say it's where those apartment units are down there. Okay. And our next unit is Cub Scout Pack 168. See by their banner, and we have a couple of uh, looks like homemade craft here being sure does. pushed by cub members. Ropes to steer on the front end. Oh, look at their look at their little float! Isn't that cute? Wilderness camping. Cub Scouts promises to do my best, to do my duty, to guide to my country, to help other people, and to be the law of the pack. That's right. Boy Scouts, of course, been around for generations. Raised a lot of. Um, Youth and good values. Were you a Boy Scout, Ben, or a Cub Scout? Ben, were you a Boy Scout or a Cub Scout? Pray not. I was no? a farm boy. Oh, you didn't, didn't have that. No. I was a brownie. I belonged to the Future Farmers of America. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So did I. That's where I learned how to bake chocolate chip cookies. And I wasn't even a farm girl. Oh, well. I was a farm boy, and I came by that naturally. And also, four years of uh, eggs got me out of a, a year of science, and I was a lousy at science. Oh, this is the big St. Paul Winter Carnival 2000 Royal Family, Ben. And this has a lot of uh, connectedness to the Hudson community because the, the uh, king this year, the Carnival King, is from Hudson. 
Gary Heider has been a uh, resident of the community for quite a number of years. And I'm going to let you deal with the family here, the royal family. Well, there's Boreas Rex's daughter, thank Melissa. You. Thank you. Thank you. We Thank you. Boy, are they generous giving oh. us feeds. Thank you <laughs> very you. much. Gary Heider is no, Boreas Heck. There's the, Shelly. Yes, the thank you. Oh, and there's a daughter. The whole family is here. <laughs> Boreas oh. Rex 64 is Gary Heider yeah, and Aurora. Aurora, Queen of the Snow at Spire. And of course, Gary's been a Hudson that's, that's resident. For, well, he just moved a few years ago and had been a resident for like 14 years, I think he said, in Hudson. We know his wife, Jackie, very well. He has three children, Melissa, Shelly, and Michael. And he, Jackie and uh, King Boreas are grandparents to three granddaughters, Kelsey, Katie, and Lauren. And this again is a family affair also because Jackie has been very deeply involved with the uh, Carnival as has uh, been Gary over the years. I believe that she was one of the royal family a years ago. Yes, she was. I think she happened to be one of the queens of one of the winds or something like that. And she certainly has a lot of responsibilities with Gary as king and participating in festivals and handling a lot of the, the details for the uh, events that they attend, a lot of receptions, a lot of parties. It's really a year-long commitment once you become part of the royalty. Not a whole lot of time to yourself. Here we have the uh, Ellsworth Funsters, a clown unit, which uh, again is uh, distributing a lot of candy and a lot of noise with the uh, loudspeakers and music. And we see kids scrambling all over the streets <laughs> now. Now that's not a kid. That's uh, a little that's, older than a kid. That's right. There's a mother who's uh, foraging here for her family. And I guess it's probably good she does because if their candy's left laying in the middle of the street, they're going to become part of the pavement pretty quickly. Hey, Jerry Beetle. <laughs> Jerry is uh, married to one of the uh, Hyder daughters. Son-in-law to Boreas Rex. Yes, I'm sure he's been drafted into the uh, the family as a. Uh, thank you, Terry. He's also a great golfer, I should mention. Yes, he is. <laughs> Terry used to be the assistant um, hockey coach for yep. the Hudson High School. For our boys, as a matter of fact. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, we have Anderson windows, traveling window display truck. I think that's how you say it. Yes, and well, Anderson window, an of course, line. has been a support of the community for years and years. And a lot of people in the North Hudson, Hudson community work at Anderson windows. It's one of the uh, premier organizations in the community and they do a lot of public service work. They have uh, several foundations which support um, groups throughout the community. They're also, uh, we have a unit here that is demonstrating oh is the, frisbee? the frisbees and I don't remember the name of these, this couple as I recall, they are an award winning couple. They've been in the parade in the past. They do um, tricks, and they have won a lot of competitions. I wish we had their name. It's amazing how they can manipulate that Frisbee. And with the uh, advance of Frisbee golf and the Frisbee golf that they have out at the Willow River State Park, there are a lot of people getting interested in Frisbees. Here we have Miss Spring Valley, Christy Keir, Princess Audrey Ness, and Princess Claire McNamara. Should note that the uh, Spring Valley Dam Days is coming up on September 15th, 16th, and 17th. So if anybody wants to make a visit down, it's a lovely community. And I'm sure they'd appreciate uh, your attendance. I sure would. It's a nice fall kind of festival, a fall festival. Really, yes, it's nice. Here we have the um, Splash Zone Pool and Spa. And we have uh, a hot tub up on this unit. And also um, a little action here with squirt guns. <laughs> Closing down the crowd and letting them know the, the pleasures of water. Well, I'm not quite sure what you know who is got in this a victory. It looks like a nice Harley Davidson. In it the says parade. Polaris products, but that uh, is a Harley yeah, victory. The victory cycle. I think so. It is a Polaris. That's kind of a... We've got the Polaris hey. snowmobiles and 
So that um, motorcycle is kind of a Mr. Unit. I'm not sure that they're not just trying to get down Highway 35 and join the parade. Or being Polaris. That's a very interesting float. So you start out with uh, the snow and the snowmobile up on top, and then it gives way to uh, dirt <laughs> and to the uh, four-wheelers and the dirt bikes. Sure does. <laughs> we, oh, we have the Rice Street Festival, Queens. We have Queen Rebecca William, Princess Irene Stevenson, or Stephenson, and Prince Thea Bradbury. Lovely in the red. Rice Street, of course, being on the east side of St. Paul in an area that many of us are familiar with. And they are followed by the unit from Woodville, sitting down my, which is the festival for, for Woodville. It's one of the first festivals that we have during the year. And I don't see that we have a sheet indicating who the royalty are. No, we don't. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. There are four lovely young ladies on that float. As queens, and I think one is the, or four princesses and one queen. Sheila Harsdorf. Sheila being be a candidate this coming. year for the uh, state senate. I believe yes. that formerly she was a representative on the in the state assembly. I believe that her brother Jim was a state senator at one time. Is that right? He retired and went back to the family farm as she did, and uh, now she's a candidate this year for the uh, state senate seat. We have the unit from St. Croix Falls. Oh yes, Miss St. Croix Falls is Sarah Hoffman, Princesses Leslie Ahrens, Christine Peterson, I think, and Elizabeth Waters is the third princess. It's always a fun part. Cindy and I are exchanging glances here about the uh, the order of the parade. It's not at all what we have no, on our schedule here. So just okay. bear with us if yes. we, um, we're struggling here at times and trying to find out exactly who these units are and who are the people that are represented on these units because we don't want to overlook anybody. No, we don't. All of these people went through some rigorous um, exercises to become queens and princesses. be the uh, cracker corn, I believe. Oh, Tom's mechanic. The uh, Kramer's Cracker Jacks. Oh. I remember those gentlemen from past parades. Good job. And they also make a lot of noise for a five-man unit. <laughs> they do. Snare drums, a lot of action. I believe we're now back in our program. Uh, this is the Miss Prescott and her, her uh, court that are approaching. Oh yes. What do we have? Miss Prescott, Kara Gerke, First Princess Nicole Eggers, Second Princess Roxana Arar, and Miss Congeniality Ellie Krapp. We have some interesting notes here on this group that uh, Kara is supposed an excellent sea bass fisher person. Nicole would like to become a rodeo clown when she uh, older. Roxanne is a uh, winning sock vendor. Gosh, you don't find many of those around. <laughs> no. And uh, Ellie is a princess by day and a ninja by night. It's an interesting statement. And they again have their festival upcoming. It's the weekend after Labor Day. So yep. there's another opportunity to visit a river town, Prescott, just down the river at the uh, confluence of the Mississippi and St. Croix rivers. That's right. Well, we have our next queen candidate, Amanda Olson, and she's sponsored by Laser Magic. And she is riding in a beautiful red oh. Corvette Stingray. It's a beauty. That's somebody's pride and joy, I'm sure. I think so. And approaching also in what I think is probably about a 1957 Mustang is our next candidate who is Whitney Kane. And Whitney is sponsored by Simply Blinds and Floors. It's another beautiful car. I'm sure that everyone in the crowd and in the parade is enjoying the fact that it's 
very pleasant. The temperature is not very hot today. The sun comes out occasionally, but basically it's uh, it's light enough. Yes, it it's is. not raining. Nope. It's cool enough. It's Get just a, a perfect breeze. day for a parade. Yes. Next we have Colette Brunel, and she's sponsored by Alley Jack. Candy, Ben. Pardon? Throwing More candy, candy yeah. still. We don't get a chance to eat all this. We're going to have to uh, <laughs> Next get a bag. Next big candidate we have one. here is Jamie Wang Wangerin. Wangerin? Wangerin, I believe. Wangerin, and she's sponsored by Casa de Palo. I'm glad to hear you pronounce that Casa. Casa. I hear that Casa a lot, but I think it's Casa. Casa de Palo. Casa de Palo. House of Hair. Is that what it yes, is? Yes, it is. Well, you can tell I didn't study Spanish either. And our next candidate approaching here before us is Heidi Jones, who is sponsored by Grandview Dental. I believe this is our first redheaded candidate. I think so. The Jones family also pretty well known to both of us because um, they are in the Hockey Association, have been for a number of years, as we were. And I believe Heidi plays on the girls' hockey team. Oh, look at here. We have Mama Maria's advertising here, Italian Restaurante. Good food. Boy, look at all of those cooks. I can put them to work later this afternoon, which I'm sure they'll have lots of business up there. Well, that's pretty appropriate, the Italian families. We all had to dip our fingers into something. <laughs> that's what One lady looks good. like she's carrying the big pot, which you boil spaghetti in. <laughs> Generous hips. No, no, Ben. <laughs> I was well. thinking she does remind me of a few of my aunts. <laughs> With the I hairdo, was, of course. I was strained, dangerous territory there. No, no, it's the hairdo. Oh, back okay. in the butt. That's what it is. Bail me out, bail me out. Uh, brings back memories to me. Uh, here's an interesting... Uh, looks like they're throwing something silver. Oh. I'm not quite sure what those are. This is the but lions. Is a, yeah. I don't know what they're saying. Lions helping others. Well, they have a slogan on the side saying, Don't take your organs to, to heaven. heaven knows we need them here. Heaven, Heaven knows, knows we, we need, need them, them here. That's great. And that's a very appropriate slogan. Sure is. They can't be handing out organs. They're handing out <laughs> hot dogs. Oh, that's an organ of a sort. Oh boy, what do we have? The Red Wing royalty here. Rachel Nelson, Miss Red Wing 2000, Katie Riegelman, Princess, and Andrea Fredrickson, also a princess. Lovely young lady, this lovely car. I like those colors, red and white. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Those were hot dogs, yes, huh? Yes, they are. They were giving them away at the Hudson Parade oh, as well. I missed that. Yes. Interesting. It's a nice treat being we're very, having this parade right over lunch hour. It's a very novel concept. <laughs> First, I thought they were throwing hot potatoes at them, because oh, we do have uh, a unit here from uh, Big Lake, I think, which is Spud Days. Oh, yes, it is. Lori Lungard for assembly. She is must be walking somewhere around here. I'm sure that a lot of these people that are walking along handing things out are associated with the, the Lungard unit. Interesting group coming up here. Here is the uh, Hudson Girls basketball team. This is a team that was runner-up in the state and very, very nearly won the tournament, as they had the previous year. An excellent group of girls. Pretty proud of our Hudson Girls basketball. Uh, it's a very they strong sure program. Are. They've done the community proud. They've done a good job. Can, we met, can you read all those names? Jesse Sifko, Molly Simon, Emily Anderson, Kelly Peterson, Katie Carey, Joe Redding, Greta, Greta Tracy. Tracy. Oh dear. Virtual. Virtual. Missed right. about the last three or four there, but they have a mobile unit here with uh, basketball, standard, net. They're shooting some buckets as they walk down the street. And they're making them. We got the Knights of Columbus, St. Croy Council, 1762, I think it said. Help mentally handicapped citizens, Knights of Columbus. 
And they have a giant Tootsie Roll on their float, and I believe they're handing out Tootsie Rolls to the kids, not the little ones, the big ones. I was going to say my father is a knight of Columbus years ago, I remember. Yeah, very fine organization, did a lot for the community over the years. We have the Big Lake float, and I had been mentioning earlier yes. that this was the uh, Spud Festival. That is uh, a very interesting uh, event because they have a tater tide eating contest, spud wrestling, and you'll note that the queen here is sitting on a pat of butter. That she is. That's Miss Big Lake, April Springer, first Princess Stephanie Saxton, second Princess Sarah Soul or Soli, and Miss Congeniality, Jessica Laney. And this float is a huge potato split down in the middle. Looks like some sour cream and butter. Interesting float. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, here's a sack with three potatoes in it. Potatoes, Ben. <laughs> Compliments to Miss Big Lake Royalty and local potato growers. Great, and they're good for you. Yes, they are. Particularly if you don't put the sour cream That's right. in <laughs> too much butter. Just leave all the other stuff off of them. What do we have here? The Being pulled by a huge Cadillac. Can you believe that? No. Can you believe that we used to put cars like this in no. garages, that we have garages large enough for them? That's Miss Cumberland and her court. Of course, the good old Rutabaggy Fest that's in August. As a matter of fact, next week it is. The 23rd Follows next week. Follows hot behind, right yeah. behind the Pepper Fest. No more. Yes, that uh, Miss Cumberland. Lindsay Kruger, First Princess Erica Jensen, Second Princess and Miss Congeniality is Mandy Welch. I should note that the Rutabaggy Fest also has a pepper eating contest, same as we do in North Hudson. And there's been sort of an exchange program, a very uh, intense competition over the years yes, between the, uh, the two pepper eating teams. The Island City. That's where most of my Italian relatives that migrated here to North Hudson came from. I know that there are still some Zappas oh, and yes. a lot of Italian people up there. We still have them there. The uh, Hot Air Affair is a unit that's passing before us right now, and that, of course, is a uh, event that comes up every February in the community, and really brings us a lot of color and beautiful balloons. Woo! That's kind of hot, Ben. You bet. That's, that's like 50,000 BTUs or more, those burners. The interstate band? You bet. They've been in the parade for many years. They add a lot of color. These are some veteran musicians. I think this unit may actually come from St. Croix Falls, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah. It's too bad we don't know much about this man. We have Zappa Brothers excavating. Of course, the nice big truck with all the children in it. Yeah, it looks like Gary got a new truck. I think so. It's a Either bigger that or truck. you really uh, polish it up for this weekend. <laughs> Probably his employees and some of their children usually ride it, and they love to do that. Well, and Gary has uh, often loaned equipment to the festival also for setups and takedowns. Been a strong supporter of the yes. Pepper Fest for years. Very generous. Next float we have is Turning Point. Sponsor looks like by Denny Hecker is sponsoring them. Turning Point's out of River Falls. And that uh, again provides a very valuable service to the community and it serves more than River Falls. It sure does. This entire part of St. Croix County. I think it's home there. A 24 hour crisis line is available at all times. Cambridge Royal Ambassador floats coming now. Another group of ladies in red. Red seems to be a very popular parade color. It's pretty complimentary to most girls with their color. And, and it certainly shows up on floats. It sure floats. is. It's beautiful. We have here the East Bethel Princess, Angela Vincent, Little Miss Cambridge, Lydia Albine, Miss Congeniality, Margaret Pearson, Ambassador Holly P. 
Pearson and I missed Stacey the last. Stacy Tillman. All right, Stacy Tillman. Stacey Thank you. Tillman. They celebrate the season of giving. That's what Cambridge celebrates. It's interesting. They have a lighted snowflake parade because uh, they kick off the beginning of the holiday season. Here we have our next candidate here, Morgan Wyland. And she is sponsored by Chadwick's Fine Food. You note the little uh, peppers on the side of the sign. A lot of peppers theme in this uh, parade. Our next candidate passing in front of us right at this moment is Emily Cromer. Emily is sponsored by the Freedom Values Center. So exciting for those young ladies to do this. This whole, I think since Thursday, they've been working on this. Our next Pepper Fest Queen candidate is Shana Hannock, sponsored by the Riverbank. It's an interesting vehicle she's it in. It certainly is. Shana looks like she's enjoying being part of that so. unique float. Lisa says T Buck. And I'm not quite sure what that represents, but that looks like it was built. Custom made by the owner. Yep. Then we have Kara Ritchie, who is a, sponsored by Citizen State Bank. And again, yeah. that's another relative of mine. Another Hungarian hot pepper <laughs> affixed to the door. <laughs> and they're hot. Is that another relative also that did you is, mention? Yes. Another cousin? Yes, it is. Okay. We have passing before us now from Vine Street Florist, Rachel Zool. Rachel looks like she has snowflakes on the side of her uh, her cheek. Yes, and you know where those came little from. Facial decoration? No. No, oh, Winter Carnival. Winter Carnival. They were giving oh, yes. them to the young ladies at the brunch this morning. Should mention that when the Winter Carnival comes over, they bring <laughs> the Vulcans in mass, and uh, they spend a lot of time working the crowd and working the uh, royalty That's tent right. before the uh, the parade. Yes, they do. And the unit here is uh, surf the net. a unit from the riverbank, and their theme is surf the net, and they are throwing out some uh, frisbees, uh, the ring frisbees. And obviously a very, uh, very eager group out there trying to corral one of those prizes. Boy. We have the uh, girls' here. basketball team passing behind us right now. Emily! They are some uh, Emily, Emily. pretty tall Emily, girls. Yes, they are. I don't know what that is, though, Ben. <laughs> tall. <laughs> Remember, I'm Italian. They don't come tall. <laughs> uh, you'd have had to be a point guard. You can be a point guard and you can be a little smaller. Uh, here we have the unit from the uh, Hudson Medical Center. And they're saying born in 1953 and they're moving in 2003. They're advertising 50 years of innovation and growth. They have been a, uh, a real benefit to the uh, community. That particular vehicle is a 10 foot wheelchair lift vehicle. That's right. Bauer Brothers Motor Company from Durand, Wisconsin. Sponsored yes. by Arkansas Fur and Fish Game Club. Bauer Brothers, of course, and Bauer Built Tires yes. are our major employer down in the Durand, Durand community. It's the first time I've seen them in a our first parade. Time. Yes, I haven't seen them before either. Yeah. Glad that they joined us, however. Yes. What do we have here? Here we have a 4 H unit, It'll be the Rolling Hills 4 H unit. Rolling Hills, of course, is a rural area of St. Croix County, just outside of Hudson. Probably a Hudson, St. Joe's township, I would guess. And they've been a, um, a regular participant in the Pepperfest Parade. And a trail by several dogs. <laughs> Members, I'm sure, of the Rolling Hills 4 H Club. I Not the dogs, so. the owners. Yes. <laughs> Well, we have Melissa John, St. Croix County, Fairest of the Fair, sponsored by Bernard's in New Richmond, or Bernard's in New Richmond, excuse me. Well, 
Well, I see approaching us now is the unit from Amory, Wisconsin. Amory, just up Highway 46, of course, and they are a regular participant in the parade also. Yes, they are. Amory is known as the uh, City of Lakes. There are lakes surrounding it. We have um, on this float the Miss Congeniality, Elizabeth Cray, the third princess, Ariana Bratz, the first princess, Samantha Gorse, second princess, Nicole Duxbury, and Miss A. Marie is Amber Beauvais. And they again have a fall festival coming up in September 14th to the 17th. That's right. I didn't realize there were so many fall festivals. Oh, between Amory and Prescott and Spring Valley, yes. those are the three fall festivals. Yes. Well, we have Shoney's being represented here. Of course, that's restaurant up, uptown, as we call it. Up on the hill on the uh, south side of the freeway. Mm -hmm. And the Shoney Bear is coming over to oh, hello. say hi to us. I'll bet that's a little warm in there, Mr. Shoney. <laughs> I and I got a small nod there. So. We have Anoka. It's, what do they call it? The Halloween capital of the world. Yeah, and I think it's pumpkin days is what have, they have. Right. Miss Anoka, Jackie, her, her Zena, Princess Acacia McCosh, and Emily Tenplis. And this has to be a fall festival too, I, I would guess. So. Since uh, it's associated with the Halloween. Unfortunately, we don't have the dates of that. And the next uh, unit passing before us is a fire engine, and it's uh, with Chadwick's Fine Foods. Chadwick's is a relatively new establishment in uh, North Hudson, where the uh, Mama Maria's was formerly located. Miss Osceola coming up in the Osceola float. I'm not sure that we've had Osseo before either. Then. Osseo, that's right, not yeah. Osceola. I think I mispronounced that. Lake Martha days. I didn't know that. Never heard of that. Have, haven't been at Lake Martha, but apparently that is uh, either in or near the community of Osseo, Wisconsin. We have the Queen Can or the Queen is Caitlin Anderson with Princess Lindsay Halderman and Maxine Pettis. Yes, Pettis. Pettis? And their festival was in June. So they're probably getting towards the uh, end of their, uh, their rain parade rain. season. Mm -hmm. Unit here from Osceola, Wisconsin. And Osceola, we have oh, Little Miss Osceola, Chelsea Pennell, the first Little Princess, Ashley Schmidt, second Little Princess, Samantha Brockman, Miss Congeniality, Trish Newman, second Princess, Damaris Phelan, first Princess, Vicki Kane, and Miss Osceola is Stephanie Miles. That's a lot of, a lot of names, and that team. festival is also right. in September the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Wow. It's a good thing the signs are on the boats. Hudson Pepper Fest. Looks like all the royalty is families. This is the 2000 group. That's right. This is Shira Lund, Haley Lash, Amanda Spainauer. This year is King, though, or Queen, Jamie Gifford, and King Scott Sipple. Right. It's all the parents of our of our North Hudson royalty. It's nice. That fly float is pretty impressive, too. I think that's the second time through. I think they changed the... <laughs> They changed the participants. Ben, you weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> well, I'm uh, sure that our audience is a very perceptive <laughs> audience. So. Wow, now what is this? Yeah. Here's a calliope unit. Wow. Unfortunately, we don't know where it came from. Oh. Wow. Well, we used to have a gentleman named Angelo's Calliope, but this looks like Angelo's Calliope. Oh, Searching my list here, and I'm not quite sure where it comes in. Oh, oh no, there we have the Ellsworth royalty in their float. Princess Megan, Megan Lofgren, Princess Hannah Anderson, Mandy Hines, and Miss Ellsworth is Tammy Pahacek. I 
go to Ellsworth about once a year for their chicken feed at the Rod and oh, really? Gun in Ellsworth. Wonderful, even though it's the cheese curd capital. Cheese curd capital. <laughs> I go through uh, there quite often. Colonel Ellsworth apparently is the uh, founder of the city or uh, whom it was named after. Didn't know that. I don't know who Colonel Ellsworth is, but he looks like a Civil War veteran. That's right. We have the Robert's Good Neighbor Days float coming here. And who do we have on that today? Queen, Miss Roberts. Queen is Melinda Foster, Princess Tammy Danucci, Katie White, and Little Miss Roberts is Erica Johnson. So Danucci's another relative from Roberts. And we have the Glenwood float, Glenwood City, which has their festival, which is called Rustic Lore Days, held on September 5th to the 10th. So that's another upcoming another festival. Mm -hmm. And we have on this float, the Queen Maria Lupke, Princess Tara Mitch, Monica Jacqueline, and Laura Walsh. <laughs> See, the Winter Carnival at Carnival has gotten them all. And they all got See decorated, that? obviously, that's by the Balkans also. Snowflakes are popular today. Here we have a unit passing before us, which is the Shoeberry Homes Incorporated, carrying a banner, and they also have a uh, motorized unit, a decorated vehicle coming behind them, and they are also distributing some materials, candy, candy and flyers, candy for the kids, flyers for the parents. That's right. And Shoeberry is advertising that they have an owner-builder program with 100% financing and no money down. Supplier of choice, it said. Kind of a break in the parade here now. Right. The sun's trying to come out. This has been kind of again. exciting trying to find where <laughs> these units are on the, uh, the parade lineup. Yeah, so please bear with us. Seems to be uh, a number of them that are in different places than mm -hmm. we had anticipated. Uh, here's going to be another uh, unit that the kids are going to be envious of. Oh, look at that. A little motorized car from Auto Glass Specialists oh. which say, we're the guys in the little red truck. How can he even get in there? I don't know. I was wondering the same <laughs> thing. Where are his legs? I don't know. It sure is cute. Fortunately, he doesn't have to pedal that thing. It does have a motor. I know. And here's the bigger red truck following behind it. And Auto Glass Specialists is handing out little red trucks. Oh, yes. They're banks. They're I little think they money are. banks. Little penny banks. Hammond, Heartland Days. Heartland Days is from Hammond. And their festival has just passed. It was in October, August 10th to the 13th. And we have Miss Congeniality, Angela Nelson, Princess Angela Nelson, oh, dear. Princess Stacy Gulich, Princess Kristen Madden, and Miss Hammond is Natalie Rock. That's a very unique and beautiful float also. Sure is. Sponsored by Lions Club International. It's very nice. We have here Miss Monticello and her court from Monticello, Minnesota. Miss Monticello is Amanda Hoppy. Miss Congeniality is Amanda Hoppy. Monticello Princess are Jerry Weiss and Jessica Doran or Duran? Doran, I believe. Okay. And if we were in Virginia and that was Jefferson's home, it would be pronounced Monticello. Oh yes, I suppose. We have our next candidate approaching before us right now, which is Katie O'Horro, and she is sponsored by Lavender Times. A few in a row here. Another princess, or I should say candidate, Caitlin Walbrun, Kelly Gallery's sponsor. And with the uh, rather aggressive sounding vehicle here is our <laughs> next candidate, Stephanie Copeland, sponsored by the Hudson Flower Shop. I think he's having fun too, don't you? Uh, yes, and that vehicle has some rumble to it. Sounds like it's got a uh, good size engine in it. Yes. 
probably feels a little constrained going this slowly. I'm sure. And following immediately behind uh, Miss Copeland, who's sponsored by the Hudson Flower Shop, is a unit from the Hudson Flower Shop. Look at that. Beautiful flowers on this floor. Oh, yes. Sure is. Now, I don't know much about flowers. Can you tell what these are? I don't know, Ben. I know the colors. Lots of purple on there Beautiful. and some white. A little bit of everything. It's some this looks like a Viking float rather than a Packer float. Yeah, it does. <laughs> don't want to say that. <laughs> and their slogan is, we deliver smiles. Yes, they do. Who do we have next here? Queen Candidate, sponsored by Twin City East Auto Truck Stop, is Amy Bonneman. And Amy is followed by candidate Tina LaRue. And Tina is sponsored by the St. Croix Center for the Healing Arts. That's not performing arts, that's the healing arts. Cottage Grove. Cottage Grove, and we don't have a sheet on them, so we'll just read the names off the side of the float to let yes. you know who the royalty are on these. We have first Little Miss Little Miss Cottage Grove, I guess, Elizabeth Sova, the Junior Miss, Rachel Brang, the uh, Junior Princess is Amanda Meisner, and Little Miss Alexis Lamar, followed by Miss Teen Crystal Meyer and Miss Cottage so Grove is Erin Gebhardt. Yes, Aaron Thank Aaron you. Gebhardt, yes. Oh, the Pilot House for real coffee. I'm sure you've seen that downtown oh, on Main Street in Hudson. They provide a good cup of brew. Yes, they do. And we have the golf shop, which is up on the uh, hill. Yes, it is. Uh, relatively new, opened I believe about a year or so ago, and it has greatly expanded in the past year. I noted when I was in there, they have a lot of of everything that a golfer could look for. It's called swings and things. What do we have? This is Baldwin Royalty. Baldwin had their festival in August, I see. And who do they have here? Bridget Doman. It's Miss Baldwin with. Second Princess Amy Holden. And they also have Christine Fox, who uh, is not in attendance. She right. apparently had a conflict with this parade, wasn't available. You'll notice the Dutch shoes on there. It's uh, Dutch days. <laughs> Dutch days. A canine unit in front of us. And I'm not quite sure who this is. It's with the dog tracks. St. Croix Meadows, yes, yes you're yes. right. It is St. Croix Meadows. Track. I should have noted these are pretty sleek looking say, animals. I remember seeing these greyhounds a few times. Built for speed. And the St. Croix Meadows unit is followed by a very colorful purple and white float. Not quite sure who this is yet. I haven't been able to pick up the name, but it is certainly colorful. The car is completely covered with crepe and with streamers. It's Miss Durand and her car. And it's Miss Durand. Okay. And Miss Durand has on the float the uh, Princess Sarah Weinzerl and Stacy Patnode, and the Queen is Jennifer Bruner. It's a pretty one. Again, looks like Viking colors though. Yes. <laughs> a lot of flags on that float. It's pretty. Very pretty. And the silver streamers yeah. certainly show up well in the sun. Oh, here comes the entertaining New Richmond High School Marching Tigers Band. They're always so pleasant to watch and listen to. Well, bands really make a parade, and I'm happy that we have one here. This is also a very excellent unit. Yes, they have won is. a lot of awards. Yes, they have. They have a, uh, a rifle drill team unit with them, as well as a, the uh, flag guard.
He's a very spiffy looking uh, conductor. Yes, he is. Tuxedo and all. Yes. And you'll notice there are parents here in attendance um, along the parade route with uh, two way radios, making sure that um, everything is going fine. There's a lot of organization to a unit like this. Look at the seriousness. Boy. It's a very interesting outfit. Yes. They look quite professional, don't they? Yes, they do. like a whole troop of ninjas oh. with black pants <laughs> yeah. and black tops. And we'll just be quiet and let you listen to the music. Yes, we will. Uh, certainly get the benefit of the music as the judges stand is just probably about um, 100 feet down from us at the intersection of um, Highway 35 and Monroe Street. That's right. Well, they're going to do their performance now right in front of the judges. Well, you bet. The judges are, uh, judges are getting a nice oh. performance directly in front of them. And we have approaching, though, at our viewing stand, the uh, next unit, which is from Clear Lake. And we have on this float the princess, the third princess, Tanya Arcand, second princess, Eleni Emily Kirpner, first princess is Nicole Hilton, and Miss Clear Lake is Jenny Arcand. When I first saw those two names, Tanya Arcand and Jenny Arcand, <laughs> I wondered if they were twins, but I don't I think so. I don't think so either, but they may be related. Probably cousins. Could be. It's nice when the sun goes down, isn't it, Ben? Yes, it is. Makes quite a difference. Take a break there to get a drink of water. My uh, ice is long gone to water. Yes, it is. It's quite a large parade. What did you say? Approximately how many units? I think on the list there were about 132 units, but there are always some mystery ones that uh, <laughs> pop in there, and then there are some that, that drop out. Oh. That's what makes this such an exciting exercise. Mm -hmm. I guess. Trying to follow along and see who's coming next. getting uh, quite a collection of paraphernalia here. I know. Gee, this is fun. <laughs> These uh, beads are interesting looking. At the Hudson Parade as well, the Winter Carnival is giving these out, so we've got a few of them. Well, we have our next Pepper Fest Queen candidate, Danielle Vanesse, sponsored by St. Croix Bicycle and Skate. And we have a small, unannounced unit, <laughs> which is uh, selling yo-yos for a buck. It says all proceeds go to the Faith Community Youth Mexico oh, Missions trip. Sure. And I suspect that that's related to the two young ladies who are selling pop here. Probably, a earlier. I think so. so. They've been working the parade road, both sides. That's interesting, yo-yos for buck. Big yo-yos, too, they I haven't like. worked a yo-yo in years. I don't know if I could. I used to be fairly good at them. Yeah, well, you might like one of those, the big, <laughs> yeah. big green and red ones. Bigger. We have our next candidate, sponsored by Alt Mortgage, which is Andrea Kondrashuk. That is a very unusual color, color. for a vehicle, too. Gotta like orange. Goes well, black uh, dress with the orange car. That'd be good That's in my that. my old high school colors, is black it? and orange. In that Halloween. Festival. Yes. <laughs> and the license plate says it'll light them up. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That's our next Pepperfest Queen candidate is Jenna Evenson, and she's sponsored by Valley Cartage. What a beautiful car that is, as well as the young lady. Very unique bumpers on that. Thing. We have I her think whole it's family. safe to say that the Evenson clan is right next to us. And the Rose family. Here in a beautiful Viper car is Sherry Martin. And Sherry Martin is sponsored by Dr. Kell and Family Dental. You don't see very many Vipers around no. at all. It's a very right. unique auto. Next queen candidate is Ashley Penman, and she's sponsored by Alamode Salon. We have her family across from us. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh-oh, here <laughs> they come, Ben. Fire These and brimstone. Are the Vulcans, <laughs> the Vulcan crew. Yep. They have with them some of last year's royalty. Yeah, they sure do. Who uh, by now are well decorated smudges. Yep. There's the Vulcan head. This is a fire and brimstone crew, the Vulcan crew. And the chief of the Vulcan crew is uh, carrying a lethal looking sword. Look wearing uh, sneakers, I noticed, with fire streaks down sure the side. Is. Got all the Vulcans here. <laughs> hey, here's some guys who are uh -oh. having fun. They're trying to regroup or something. Here are some people who really have fun and add a lot to the crowd. Uh, the, the crowd really enjoys them. They have a good and time, don't they? Yes, they do. Grown up children. We have a very active group here. Yes, They're working we do. both sides of the street very aggressively. Now we have with us the St. Louis Park, St. Louis Park, uh, Minnesota, with uh, the Commodore Junior being Danny, the Junior Queen Amelia, Junior Princess Riley, and the Junior Vice Commodore Brian, with Shirley as a Senior Queen and Severed as a Senior Commodore. We also have the Princess Christine, Princess Caitlin, and Miss St. Louis Park is Angie. And that float is sponsored by the St. Louis Park Hockey Association. Yes, it is. Very large float, a lot of people on that float. Yes. And the theme on that float is children first. That's cute. Well, I was amazed you escaped without the, uh, the Vulcans decorating you. Just kind of just sat here quietly. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything, they may be back. <laughs> Had a few of those in my days. Uh, I'm so sure. They go after the younger crowd now. They don't have any female uh, Vulcans, do they, to no, decorate the men? No, they Maybe don't. Maybe they should have a little equality and decoration here. Okay, Spirit in the Park. Spirit in the Park. Spirit in the Park is an upcoming event also, September uh, 16th. And they are advertising Go and Fish, and they have a boat as part of their float and... Nice looking boat. Bubbles. Oh. You guys need some of these. Thank Spirit you. Spirit Park Thank coming you. up. September, right? Yes, We know all yes. about it, right? We, we mentioned it that it's coming up. It's Thank one of those you. events that we look forward to. They must have a real bucket of bubbly water in there because when he whips that up, he gets some... Continuous food. bubbles. Yeah, lots of them. They're multiple bubbles, so there are five or six, eight, ten in a cluster. Yeah. Next we have Star Prairie float. Ox cart days. Oh my. We have Miss Star Prairie, Char DeMulling, Miss Congeniality, Sarah Johnson, first Princess Morgan Jarabek, second Princess Sarah Heineke, Junior Miss Bethany Plurd, and Little Miss Kara Olson. And again, a real reading challenge there. That's the third weekend in August. Did you say that already, Ben? That there? I don't their know that I did. No. There are. And I don't recall seeing that float in our parade before I either. I don't think so. And the theme on the back says "Ride with the Stars," okay. Star Prairie. Star Prairie. Oh. We have here the St. Francis royalty, and Miss St. Francis is Amanda Beck. 
the Princess Sarah Russler, Princess Bonnie Nelson, and Princess Amanda Ehlers. Yeah, pretty. And their theme is Pioneer Days in the Park. In the Park. Beautiful float from St. Francis, Minnesota with the uh, royalty standing in a white gazebo decorated sure with is. pink roses. Isn't that lovely? And it's sponsored by the St. Francis Lions Club. As well as the American Legion and Auxiliary Post 622. Oh, here comes the Robbinsdale float. Yes. And this has on it a lot of royalty also. We have Miss Robbinsdale, which is Kelly Selvin, the Robbinsdale Princess Amy Warhol, Princess Jennifer Beck, Junior Queen Caitlin Smith, Junior Commodore Justin Conant, Junior Princess Ariel Farnes, and Junior Vice Commodore George Kronakis. Whoa, we're losing some of our uh, bennies here. Wind came up. And that is sponsored by the Robbinsdale JCs. That looks like some sort of bird that is decorated in flowered or paper mache on the back of that float. Should note that that was a very successful float. It won the General Flamius Award at the St. Paul Winter Carnival Torchlight Parade and the Queen of Snows Award at the Grand Day Parade of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. We have some Roseville royalty here. What do we have? Rose Fest Princess Tiffany Hermes and another Rose Fest Princess Nicole Millerin. And I think that probably some of these units now were late getting in the parade, so they may so. be out of order. This is the uh, New Beginnings Massage and Body Work unit, and they are advertising the benefits of massage. It eases muscles, reduces stress, increases energy, relieves headaches, and increases circulation. Boy, isn't that the truth. Everyone needs a massage, but we have to try and take the time to go and get the massage. That's right. They're advertising the hours on the side of the float. So. That's right. All the people on the parade route have an opportunity to know where to go and when they can come in and get a massage. You sure can. We have a long break now oh. in the parade here after this unit. I'm not quite sure what's coming up. I don't know. Well, I hope people well, are Well, it's the uh, parade on this side of the camera, everything that you expected. It's gives you a little different, different perspective. Sure does. Yeah. Sure does. Were you ever in the parade as a participant? No, I was not. Well, years ago when I was little, and but what, not recently. What we, was your participation at that time? You know, Ben, when our parents did the kitty parade, we were they worked for weeks doing sewing sequins and peppers on our costumes, and we used to go in wagons. Ah. And they would have boxes in the wagons and drape them so we were elevated a bit. And it was a big deal. I do remember that. I remember building some of those for my kids. It was a big deal. Here we have a float uh, which uh, says the St. Croix Surgery. Oral surgery. Oral surgery. I missed the word there. Yeah. It's a big oral difference. Surgery. Something we don't really want to have to go they, through. They specialize <laughs> in dental implants. Yeah. Extractions. Wisdom teeth. Ugh. I think my uh, youngest son is scheduled for one of those fairly soon. No, thank the wisdom you. teeth. Something, fortunately, I didn't have to go Nor through. Nor did I. I never wonderful. had any wisdom teeth. <laughs> I didn't either. Does that mean we are not wise? I don't know. I don't know. That's probably true. What do we have coming up? Sterling Silver Studio. This looks like a, uh, a youth group that um, is doing baton twirling. Must be a dance studio, I think. Yes. Sterling Studios. It appeared to be a dance yes, studio, dance and, and studio. Uh, oh, oh, batons, fire batons. They're uh, preceded by a vehicle that's providing some music for the dancers who are following. Oh dear, that fire baton stuff is 
I hope that fire lasts until they get before the judges stand. You see, the vehicle uh, is accompanied by a wagon pulling a can of gas. <laughs> see that? I'm assuming that's gas. I think you're right. Looks like it. I'm not sure if those baton ends are those cotton or something that you uh, soak with the flammable fluid, and then you light them and they stay lit for some period of time in which you perform uh, your demonstration. They'll need them for in front of the judges. There's uh, quite a variety of ages in this unit. The two uh, girls with the uh, batons, the fire batons, before us now, I guess our early teens, mid-teens? I think so. I wonder how you get elected to be the one person having to hold the fire baton versus the non-fire baton. Well, maybe it's a hot competition. <laughs> no pun intended. No huh? pun intended. Look to be about uh, 20 members in this unit. We have the rest of them approaching us right now. And they're sort of in uh, order of height, it looks like. The tallest ones up front, and they uh, progress down to the shortest ones in the very back. A lot of smiles. Performing in the sun. Right down to the little ones. Were uh, you ever a baton twirler? Yes, I was. I believe my wife was also. That was a pretty popular activity when I was young. Uh, and it's nice to see because I don't see too much of it anymore. No, I think it was um, sort of faded away there for a few years. Maybe it's making a comeback. It requires more dexterity than I have, that's yeah, for sure. it does. Well, here's an interesting float coming up. Uh, Cindy, look at uh, all the green oh. on this float. This is a landscape artist's dream. Willow River Tree Farm. Yeah, there are some very sizable pine trees on this and some beautiful flowers. Isn't that beautiful? Nice day Christmas though, Ben. Yep. Some landscaping stone, and some wood chips, bird houses, hanging flower plants. Beautiful. That's a very colorful unit. A and green thumb the, I don't have. From the Willow River Tree Farm. And I think that that's a, uh, a very nice unit to include in the parade. Yes. Brings back Mother Nature. Sure does. We have some handouts here, and I'm not quite sure uh, who this represents. Looks like um, Unique Techniques Incorporated. They're fairly new, I think, from what I understand, and they do many different things with window treatments and custom, you know, bedroom assemblies, designing. Come in and do some interior designing as well as cabin tree. And Sounds like the sort of place a woman would go rather yeah, than a man. We like that. <laughs> Somebody else can come in and give us a few hints. Well, I see they're advertising a lot of services on the side, just as you were talking about. Yeah, they are. Design consultations, full painting and stenciling. Window treatments, custom bedroom ensembles, custom shower doors and mirrors, custom cabinetry and furniture, phantom screens, solar tubes, fireplaces, and flooring. Wow. Boy. Got a lot of things. Well, if you need any of those things, oh, yeah. Unique Techniques Incorporated on Dorwin Road in Hudson. Did you see? They even have a website set on the side. Yeah, here we have some uh, vehicles, custom vehicles, from antique car cars. Club, Jeep. Here's a lovely old Ford Bel Air, excuse me, Chevrolet Bel Air. Owner being Olive and Bill Olson, 1954. My cousin had one of those. Not quite that color. Beautiful. What do we have here? Pepperfest from Village Liquor Store here in North Hudson. Boy, they've got their little. And they're so advertising. Flames by Gilby's. Oh, it's sponsored by Laser Magic. 
Oh, this is a uh, pontoon boat, actually. It's called a Hot Rod Pontoon. The grandmas and the grandkids. And a pontoon boat is certainly a good craft for kids and for elderly people. You can get up and move around on them. They're wonderful fishing or sunbathing yeah, platforms. Sure. Yeah, I hear the guys rubbing wow, up here. Oh, look at the cars. Some antique cars approaching right now. Beautiful black coupes. The uh, souped up engines. As a matter of fact, it's Tom White like, and his. He, he's the, like owner, the uh, of, owner of the village. Oh, ah, okay. It looks like from the era of El Capone. Wow. It's appropriate here at Pepperfest. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are. Look at the unique color on this vehicle. Honest. What would you call that color? I don't know. Almost like a taffy. I'm not quite sure what do you want to call it. Yeah, pink marshmallow. Yeah, kind of. Here we have the uh, Hudson High School Band, second band unit. And they again are a very accomplished group. Yes, they are. And quite an extensive group that we have. Also a rifle team and a color guard. Drum majorettes. They look nice, don't they? Yes, they do. Beautiful blue and white uniforms. Yes, a lot of work on that group. Being I work at the school district, I see them and hear them all practicing a lot this summer, the marching band, just for these kinds of things. Well, a band has been demonstrated to be a wonderful thing, and, and um, people who are in band tend to accomplish a lot academically and in life. They seem to be very structured, disciplined. They, they learn a lot, part of being a band. I never did play an instrument. Did you, Ben? My father tried to get me to play an accordion. Yeah. It was just miserable. That's a hard one. He gave up after a while. Always, I have no musical bones. They always say that's a, a bit, of, it's a hard instrument to play. We're getting the silent treatment right now, but I'm sure they're going to break into a, a song here in a few minutes when they get to the uh, viewing stand for the judges. I think you're right. The band is followed by the support unit here, which is parents and um, a trailer, which is we're carrying all of the. Uh, Instruments, once they finish the parade, they'll have the van handy to uh, be able to deposit the instruments. And I'm sure a lot of them will show up on the Pepperfest grounds I'm then. I'm sure they will. We should mention that they, after the parade, all the activities will be going on in the park. And there are quite a number of activities scheduled for this afternoon. And of course this evening, uh, we have the well, late afternoon, we have spaghetti eating, we have royalty spaghetti eating, we have the pepper eating contest. Well, as you said about the Hudson Band, I see where they're performing at uh, 1 o'clock today. Okay. Here, Wells Fargo Bank. Well, we have our first uh, equestrian unit. This is a Leo Hawkins Belgians from Hammond, Wisconsin. Those are some beautiful oh, and large animals. Aren't they, though? Someone spent a lot of time decorating the manes, bobbing the tails, and they have the Pepperfest colors of uh, green and white. It's nice. I would also like to take the opportunity here to mention, Cindy, that there are a lot of people that have put a lot of work into the Pepperfest, preparing every year. They plan for months and months. We have 32 different committees chaired by people um, that have donated hours and hours of time. And for example, um, the food booth, buying the food, preparing the food, and serving the food. You have bingo, you have people working the, the gates for the attendance. Right. And uh, all of the events that are ongoing, a lot of organizations. Yeah, a lot of are, unrecognized people. Absolutely. We appreciate it all. We have a unit here from the Malibu Inn. Mm -hmm. And this is a drag, uh, not a dragster, but it's a uh, race car, which I suspect probably uh, appears uh, over at Cedar Lakes Raceway. I think so. Mm -hmm. 
We've got some uh, different size units oh. here from uh, Wiseway Motor Freight. Oh my! Preceded by a pickup, which is uh, throwing out candy to the kids, and then some large Wiseway semis. Uh, from Statesville, North Carolina, but they do have a facility here in Hudson, Wisconsin, up on the hill, up, up near the, um, the Fleet Farm, I believe. Whoa, customer driven, wise way. Kind of an unusual um, cab there that's a Volvo. Vehicle. Really? You see a lot of Peterbilt and you see a lot of Kenworth and you see a lot of uh, other vehicles, but Volvos are rather unusual. That's the only two I'm familiar with. Was this feature has, has Mike Holvordia, it looks like, who's a 1999 Regional Driver of the Year. Oh, and we have another one too. Another one. Uh, James Houston. That's the 99 City Consolidation Driver of the Year. Well, and, and uh, semi-drivers have some pretty heated competition across the country in which they compete against drivers from all over the nation to win these prestigious awards. Yes. Boy, those units, those freight lines are large. These are uh, units which take up a lot of space in the parade because they are huge, long vehicles. Then we have another one, Czech Buyer. He's a 99 Mine Hall Driver of the Year. He's on his, I'm sure, his own rig there. Not sh quite sure what a Mine Hall Driver is versus the uh, Consolidation Driver, but. We probably have some knowledgeable people in the audience that knows exactly what that means and how important those awards are. I think so. Must be coming to the end, I think. Looks like the. I think we probably truck. are coming to the end because typically um, trucks and horses signal the end of the parade. That's right. <laughs> this sure has been a pleasure, Ben. Uh, it's always been a wonderful day and very nice yes. of you to uh, join me as a host. Well, thank you very for pleasurable. asking me. Very nice. you see the crowd is starting to disperse so I think they see the end of the uh, the parade also hopefully everyone will go over to the park and have oh, something to eat absolutely I'm sure that the uh, women have been getting the uh, food and men who yes. carry up all of the good oh. stuff from the basement where the cooks have been working hard getting it prepared for the noon meal and it'll be available of course throughout the day there will be bands playing tonight not quite sure who the band is tonight do you know who's Not, playing on this? I uh, think eight ball in the side pockets eight it's ball tonight. in the side pockets. yes hmm. that's the live band playing and they're sponsored by the riverbank they play on top of a pool table i don't know, I don't know. it's a rather unique name we'll have I'm to not, go and see not quite <laughs> sure what the significance of that is but on behalf of um ms cindy st Ors and myself we'd certainly like to thank everyone and the uh, crew here for channel 10 hudson area community tv Thank the uh, Log Cabin Restaurant for providing us with the uh, the chairs and the setup, providing me my water. So it's been a very pleasurable morning. It sure has. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you to all of the uh, people out there watching this broadcast. I hope that you enjoy the parade. <laughs>